this afternoon as well, uh, there, are, there are some more uh, revelations that we're getting in this uh, special prosecutor's uh, court document on the former uh, sanitation minister Cecilia Abna Dapa uh, as uh, the OSP is now shining some spotlight on the husband of the former minister. The special prosecutor says that uh, there was no evidence uh, to support these claims by the husband of the former minister that 200,000 US dollars uh, was discovered in the house of Cecilia Abinadapa, uh, which uh, belonged uh, to the niece of this minister who's now, as we're being told by the accounts, living abroad. Now, according to the OSP, the said niece could not prove the source of this uh, fund or provide any form of evidence of lawful remittance as been indicated by uh, the minister. That's according to the OSP. So let's get more from Kweku Asante, uh, who uh, has been, you know, uh, going through this document, quite a voluminous one, uh, and uh, each day new revelations, shocking details. We are not saying, and I keep stressing that point, that the OSP's account is fully factual, but that's what this investigation is yeah. pointing out. Yes, Blazer, in fact, if you look at the elements of these allegations that are made in the court filings of the special prosecutor that says that the husband of uh, Madame Tisladapa, that is Mr. Sekufo, in his caution statement to the OSP, attributed ownership of the sum of 200,000 US dollars by the OSP, and which the respondents claim they erroneously reckoned as allegedly, allegedly stolen from the said resident to his niece, one a queer Docas or real doer living in the United States of America. Mr. Sekufo had claimed, mm -hmm. yes. telling the OSP, that his niece is in the habit of remitting money to him from the United States for the purposes of a construction project in respect of which he acts as consultant. However, the identified niece was unable to provide evidence of the source of the said amounts and evidence of lawful remittance okay. of the said so, sums. So let's break that down for a few years. Uh, this is the former minister's um, spouse making the, the point that, look, the, the 200,000 US dollars supposedly was sent from abroad, yes. basically. So there were $200,000, mm -hmm. part of which was, were found in the house. Yes. And Mr. Sekufo is making the point that mm -hmm. this belonged to my niece, who is in the United States of America. Who's sending money to us. Who's sending money yes. to us for some building project we are doing on her, on her behalf. So the OSP goes and find this niece of Cecilia Dapai's husband and try to track whether or not there is evidence of that person having been sending money to Mr. Segufo, mind you, if in the United States and you are sending money, there are people trail, are you no doing reason. by any of these internationally known remittance agents? Platform. And so there is no trace of that. Plus, the, 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 the other point that is being made is that the niece claimed that she brought the money personally. That's in she carried fiscal cash and brought it to the country. The special prosecutor is asking, if you are even going to do so, you need Line, you need authorization to be able to carry such huge amounts of Precisely, on you. Uh, because and so you that see point that is inscription all the time, that if you're traveling uh, with, with cash on you above 100,000 US dollars, yes. then you'd have you, to You need declare. to declare it. Yes. And the sticking point of all this is that you, you recall these persons that are said to have stolen money mm -hmm. from Madame Cecilia Dapa, $100,000, yes. uh, $1 million. 200000 is is said in the police document to belong to Mr. Segufo. It appears that $200,000 is not lost, actually. And so they claim in that police document in court that the persons, the house helps of Cecilia Dapa yes. stolen that money. As we know it's, before, it's, that, that it's was the initial. It's not true according to the OSP because mm -hmm. that $200,000 was discovered when the OSP officers went to Madame Cecilia Dapa's house to search. It was then that Madame, Madame Kufour, who is, hey, Mr. Kufour, who is Cecilia Dapa's husband, claimed that this amount of money actually belongs to the niece abroad. The OSP is making the point that even after the discovery of this money, Cecilia Dapa and the husband have still not gone to the police to change their earlier story that $200,000 as part of the larger $1 million had been stolen because okay. now we've discovered but, that. But that's an interesting discovery because uh, all throughout, the, the source of the story is these two individuals allegedly making away with a million dollars and some um, euros as we're being told later on the lawyers for Cecilia Dapa publicly wrote to, of course, um, us, put it out there in the public, indicating that the amounts and the permutations were not correct. But the report indicated that some substantial amount of money was missing. Is it the case that the minister is not able to account or perhaps recollect how much was in this private residence, a reason for which um, they, they are not able to tell how much was stolen? Definitely. In fact, some of the, 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 the information we've been getting from the grapevine is that the amount of money in Cecilia Dapai's house was so much 
And some of them, in fact, when a special prosecutor's offices were setting the premises and were unearthing the money, getting the money from all sources, but now this letter part, was the court documents was there and feigned surprise. That is the words the OSP used. That the special, the, the Madame Zelapa was surprised that all that amount of money were in the house. She later had to put up a defense for all of them, some of them, mm. like we discussed yesterday, being citizen allowance, being money from a cosmetic shop. But at the time, initially, when these amounts of money in envelopes yes. rubbed in According to the OSP. Goes, according to so, the OSP. So, so if we're you know, drawing the dots, th this would be the time. Of course, she was asked to report to the Office of the Special Prosecutor. Subsequently, that night, there was a raid yeah. on, 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 on you, you know, this private residence that we understand. This is where all of this is unfolding. This is where all this, all this is unfolding. And like you said, the Special Prosecutor invited Madame de Siladapa, took a statement, mm -hmm. and the expectation was that maybe Siladapa was going to leave. But she said he, the Special Prosecutor decided that we're going to leave together with Madame de Siladapa and go to the house and go and search the place. And that is when they unearth a lot okay. of Okay, now the OSP is also making yet another attempt to say, look, this is the reason why I believe the, um, you know, accounts, properties, related um, uh, interests that, that we've been looking at must be frozen. I believe that's why the OSP is doing all of this. Yes, the OSP is questioning this court that is going to hear this case on the 18th of October that if you go the same route as the other court did, mm -hmm. you'll be flouting the laws. The OSP says... By combined effects of certain provisions in the OSP Act, all that is required for a court to confirm the freezing orders in question is three matters. One, the respondent in question is being investigated for corruption or corruption-related offense. Two, that a special prosecutor has in writing frozen the property in question. And then three, there are reasonable grounds to believe that a confiscation order shall be made. The special prosecutor is saying that these are all the three reasons he must satisfy. Mm -hmm. He believes he has satisfied all of them, yeah. and he believes a court properly so constituted must look at the basis of these three provisions mm -hmm. and allow the special prosecutor to freeze these assets and seize those ones that he has seized for at least the year that is mandated in the law. So, so that allow within that year, he can now conduct the investigation and then go ahead and but press But there's charges. also another fear here, quickly, uh, about what the status of these properties are. They are not fro frozen, right? Currently, they are frozen again because the, the court right. ordered the special prosecutor to release them to Madame de He did. He, he did. Mm -hmm. And then immediately seized the properties again mm -hmm. and froze those bank accounts, some of which have had the dead brother of the Siladapa sending money according to, those to, the, according uh, to the special OSP. prosecutor. I must we, we need to be that. very cautious about Yes. Mm -hmm. And so currently, this amount of money, the ones that were personally taken mm -hmm. and discovered in Madame Siladapa's house by the OSP, yeah has been taken into custody by the OSP. Mm -hmm. The bank accounts have all now been frozen, awaiting that 8th, 18th October hearing, mm -hmm. where the court will now be seized with the facts and will now make a decision as to whether or not this seizure and confirmation is warranted. Uh, but in all of this, have we heard from the lawyers of Cecilia Abinadab? I asked this question yesterday. Yes, it's very crucial that we hear from them, and that's why I'm asking you today as well. Yes, we have been trying as a media house. We've been trying all we can to try and get Madame Zeladapa to, to, to comment on these allegations that have been made by the special prosecutor. It's been running the media since yesterday. Our information is that Madame Zeladapa and the lawyers do not want to comment publicly on this. Yeah. The expectation is that very soon, they will file their own affidavit in opposition to this application filed by the special prosecutor. When that is done, they can now fully appreciate the facts and then put out their own version. Definitely, we'll be on the lookout if we get a document and a special prosecutor is challenged on the basis of these facts by Cecilia Dapa and her lawyers. We'll definitely bring that to viewers. Mm -hmm.